Now let's go over the pre-game warm-up. In order to start the warm-up, you can hit the run button here or hit the space bar in order to start the clock. Again, note that the color has changed from red to green when the clock is running and also changes in the upper left corner. Now we need to start checking players in. First, we'll go to the away team tab. In order to check players in, just click on their names. All of the players' names that are depressed are eligible to play in the game. If you need to change a player's number, click on the number and enter the player's new number. Note that you can either change it for the game or permanently in the system. We'll change it for the game for this one. Also note that goaltenders are denoted by the G, whether it's depressed or not. We'll do the same action to check in all the home team's players and then return to the main game tab. As you can see, the warmup has continued to run. So now we can move on to our next task, which is making sure the correct goaltender is starting. Let's click on the goaltending button here. Now this team only has one goaltender, but we can either select that goaltender to start or an empty net if the team has no goaltender. If you need to change the clock at any time, you can simply click on the time in the center of the screen and change it to the appropriate time. Here we'll move to the end of the warm-up. Once we let the clock run again and run out, we can see that as the warm-up ends, the horn automatically sounds and the clock automatically switches forward to the first period with the correct time on the clock. Now we're ready to start the game.